Tony in Estero, Florida writes to me, Paul, I purchased your book, The Audiophiles Guide. Why, thank you, sir. I also got the DSD download files. Wow, what a difference in my listening experience. Good, I am glad that book worked for you. Which one did he get, the guide? There's the loudspeaker and the stereo. He got the stereo, okay. So my question, I have an NAD C658 DAC streamer coupled with a pair of ELAC speakers and an ELAC debut subwoofer. Okay, sounds like a nice system. I used your guide to get a pretty great sound in my home office and music study. I have tried to listen to the wonderful sound with room correction on and off. And that room correction, I guess, is uh, by the NAD. Uh, must be. Uh, I can hear a difference, but the sound appears high and piercing without the Dirac room correction, and yet muffled when I activate the room correction. And I followed Dirac's... Sorry, my wife is making me go double-sided now to save paper. <laughs> um, fairly close with the calibrated mic and the mini DSP. Any thoughts on how I should proceed after following your guide? Should I use room correction or not? Should I do room correction first, then follow the guide for best sound experience? Okay, I am not a fan of room correction. I use that Dirac system for my home theater because that's a little different instance where we've got quite a large number of speakers, kind of have to all coordinate together. I think mine's a 12 or 13 or 50 billion uh, Dolby Atmos system. And, and there the Dirac room correction helps a little bit. I use it lightly. I also like room correction when it comes to bass. Y you can't deal with dips in bass, but you can reduce down peaks. And, and DSP, the Dirac system, really good for that kind of thing. When it comes to mid-range tweeters on a stereo system, I would run as quickly as possible away from the room correction using that Dirac system. There are side effects to the system that just, in my view, are unacceptable. I, I don't, I wouldn't use it, I wouldn't, I just, I'd stay away from it. But that said, a lot of people would like to use it. So that's a tough one because using the Audiophiles Guide, you want to put on the tracks that we recommend and you want to adjust the speakers to where that works best. And really you should do that with the correction on if you're gonna use it, but <laughs> that doesn't work because you have a calibrated microphone and as you, you know, that originally took a shot of everything it heard. Well, if you change the speakers a little bit, that changes everything. So then one could say, okay, so I'll do the audiophiles guide. I'll get the setup perfect. Then I'll turn room correction on and, and shoot that and get it. Well, that would be a better, more logical way to do it. But then you have the problem that all the work you went to to get the speakers to disappear, to get the soundstage and the imaging and all the things that the Audiophiles Guide helps you with, uh, you've just thrown that stuff out the window because now you've changed everything with the room correction. So uh, my best advice, use it for bass, use it for home theater, don't use it for the stereo system. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks.